Wake up, Clyde. Wake up. I need a distraction. Wake up. Hi everyone, welcome back to Our Crazy Life Scotland. It's Fiona here and today I want to introduce you to a little mini-series that I fancy doing on the channel regarding distraction techniques. Now, distraction techniques are used in many walks of life. It could be for mental health, for people who suffer from stress or anxiety, depression. Um, in my case, I use distraction techniques to stop me from overeating and to help me lose weight and also to help distract me from my chronic pain. For anyone who doesn't know, I suffer from a mystery illness back in 2012. And I say mystery because now, six and a half years later, we still don't know what caused it. Um, I'm not going to go into my illness on this video, but it has left me with neuropathy, which is basically nerve damage to my legs and my feet, which means I'm in a wheelchair, which is a bummer. But worse than that is the chronic pain that I get in my feet that is unbearable and no medication seems to help it. Neuropathy is one of the hardest things to um, treat pain-wise. I've had morphine-based drugs, I've had anti-epilepsy drugs, I've had antidepressants. Nothing has worked. So I need distractions to help take my mind off the pain and let me focus on other things. I also need distractions from eating, as I said. I've been overweight pretty much all of my adult life and one of the main problems I know is because when I'm bored, I eat. I need to be doing something with my hands at all times or else there's food going in my mouth. So that was the reason I decided to put together this little mini series, basically just to try to give other people some ideas of distractions if they also suffer from um, chronic pain or overeating. And I know this series won't be for everyone, but if it even helps one person, then I'm happy. So today I just want to briefly talk about a distraction that I use every single day of my life and that is digital technology. So I use the TV not so much now as I used to because through the day it's always YouTube that I watch. Um, I've got favourite vloggers and I watch vlogs about Slimming World, I watch vlogs about cleaning and then at night I will watch TV with the family. However, watching things alone isn't enough because if I just watch the telly or watch YouTube without doing something else, I will eat. So what I tend to do is through the day when I'm watching YouTube, I will be sorting the girls breakfast, I will be cooking dinner, I'll be making the dogs dinner, I'll be doing housework when I have to, um, that sort of thing. But then when I do get time to actually just sit down and have 10 minutes to myself, I need something to do. So I tend to turn to either my laptop or my tablet and I will show you those now. Okay, so here is my laptop. It's a fairly old one now. Um, it's an advent. It's about five years old. And the main thing that I do on this to distract me, especially when it's from pain, is playing games. This game is Dual Match Royale, I think. And as you can see, I'm on level 136. I do tend to play these games over and over again, just trying to beat my own score. Not that I'm competitive or anything. Um, it's basically just a match three game. A mindless game that I can sit and play while I'm watching other things on YouTube or the TV. The other thing that I use my laptop for, and this is mostly to stop me eating rather than from the pain point of view, and that is editing um, my videos for YouTube or typing. It might be I've just finished writing the panto script for this year, so I typed that up. And I am actually thinking about starting up a blog, but again, that's something that I can't do when I've got pain because you really need to concentrate on that. But it is a good distraction from eating because when the creative juices are flowing, you don't want to stop and go and get a snack or um, make something crazy to eat. You just want to keep going. So they are good ways for me to not eat. Okay, so this is my tablet. I used to have iPads, but and so did all the family. But as they sort of got slower or broke or whatever and needed replaced, we decided to go with the Amazon Fire tablet. 
And basically, it, originally, it was because of the price. They're a lot less expensive than the Apple products. But since I got it, I recommend it to everybody because it's so much better than Apple. I think because it's Android, there's a lot, a, a better variation for me of games um, and apps. And also the apps tend to be a, a, a little bit cheaper as well than they do on Apple. What I tend to do, as you can see, Looking at the apps, I do a lot of puzzles, crosswords, word searches, jigsaws, that sort of thing. Again, when I've got pain, I can't concentrate very well. So I like something that's quite mindless that I can just play. I'll show you some of the games that I have open at the moment. I have Philippix, which I love this game. It's a conceptus game. I don't know if anybody else like me likes sort of logic games. Conceptus do a whole range of logic games. And this is one called Philippix. And basically... I'll show you an un unstarted puzzle. That's what the puzzle looks like when you first open it. It's a whole load of squares and a load of numbers and you need to use logic to fill in the squares or leave them blank. And at the end of it, that is where you get the picture, like the one that I just showed you that was Shawshank Redemption, which is that. Very clever. Um, so again, dead easy. I can... There's no time limits or anything like that. So if there's a really exciting bit coming up on my YouTube, I can stop and watch it without worrying about running out of time, that sort of thing. So I love that game. Puzzle Page is a great game because every day it gives you a selection of different puzzles to do. As you can see there, there's Sudoku, there's Crossword, Cross Sum, Diamond, Word Search, and you get a set amount of tokens every day to play with. And once your tokens have run out, you can either buy more which I never do or you can watch an advert to get more tokens and then you can play more games so every day it gives you different games uh, puzzles to do so I enjoy that very much Picture Cross, World's Biggest Picture Cross is a great game if you like nonogram type puzzles and that's basically where you've got a, a whole load like a grid with different numbers in it I'll see if I can get one open for you um, yeah, so this is a nonogram puzzle, um, which is basically you need to use the numbers that are um, in the grid to determine where the filled boxes are to be. And again, that makes a nice picture. So I really enjoy that as well. That's another one that you get a set amount of tokens every day. And then you can earn more tokens by replaying puzzles that you've already done. Um, played or by completing challenges and they also fill up every is it 20 minutes or so I think so yeah that's a really good game as well again another easy one that I can play when I'm in pain along with solitaire jigsaw that's my favorite and... distractions for through the day and also my tablet through the night is a great distraction because the other ones that I'm going to show you in this series later on have to be done either at a desk or you need a lot of space, you need the light on. So those ones aren't suitable for through the night and that's when my tablet really comes into its own. Through the night, chronic pain is my biggest issue. And on a, a serious note, the pain gets so bad through the night some night, there have been times that I've wanted to cut my own feet off. And that is not an exaggeration. Or even worse. Um, I'll, I'll just leave that there. The pain is so bad. So through the night, I definitely need distractions and my tablet is ideal for that. But rather than listening to YouTube through the night or watching YouTube, what I tend to do is I pop my headphones into my phone and I listen to books on Audible. It's a great way of doing it because I can't put a light on to read a book because it would disturb Jack. And I don't particularly actually like reading. Again, if I'm just reading, it's not enough of a distraction for me. Um, so I like to listen to the book and be doing my puzzles at the same time. And that way it's like a double distraction, if you like. Audible is fab. I'll try and link that below as well. Basically, if you've not used it before, I think you get a month's free trial. And then you get a couple of different plans. I think you get one credit a month for $7.99 or two credits a month for $14.99, something like that. We get the two credits a month and it sounds quite expensive, but each of the books on their own can be upwards of £20. So it is actually a good deal. 
Jack listens to books when he's out walking the dogs and I listen to them through the night. Absolutely brilliant. I can't recommend Audible enough. And the other good thing about it, if you, you like books, is because it's someone else reading it for you, you can really picture the, the characters. You can really get into the atmosphere because they're a lot better at accents than I am in my own head when I'm reading a book. So I really get lost in them. So yeah, through the night, Audible and my tablet, that's the main things for me. So that's everything for this week. I just wanted to introduce you to this mini series, let you know that I'm doing it basically for anyone who's like me and either overeats from boredom or has chronic pain or anything else that you might need a distraction for. And like I said at the beginning, if these videos only help one person, I'll be happy. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you look forward to seeing next week's one. I'm not going to tell you what it's going to be about. You'll just need to wait and see. And I will see you all again next time. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye bye.